Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare. Permission to be sassy today because I am going to talk about packaging pet peeves. Some products na okay na sana yung formula, pero yung packaging na talaga yung panira. Nag-nitpick lang ako dito, guys. Permission to nitpick, please. And be sassy and taray and all of that. So aside from doing makeup and skincare reviews, I also like to talk about my journey in overcoming overspending. I'm just trying to appreciate the products that I already have in my collection and trying to use my products up para hindi sa yung pera. So if you like those types of content, then please do subscribe to my channel as well as click on the notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. With this video, I want to share some products na hindi ganun ka okay yung packaging na I wish it changed somehow. And like I said, nang nilitpick lang ako dito and syempre medyo biased ako with my preferences. Very lighthearted video lang to guys, not nothing too serious. It's just makeup. As usual, product links will be in the description box below along with the prices and also some of the related videos of which I have mentioned these products before. Okay, let's start first with skincare. I don't like it when sa skincare, you know, you have your ampoules, you have your serums, tapos yung pipet mo, Oh, ano bang tawag dito? Parang yung dropper mo, hindi niya na-reach yung pinaka-bottom nung bottle. Like this one, for example. Tira ko naman to. This one is from Inher Element. Ito yung super soothing 100% Centella Asiatica extract nila. O, oh, tignan mo. <laughs> hindi niya abot yung ilalim. Nakakasad. Like, parang kailangan ko pang i-ganon yung serum. And, syempre, medyo hindi ko control yung amount of product when I do this. Very watery yung consistency pa ng product. So, parang sobrahan yung nalalagay ko sa hand ko when I was trying to dispense the product this way kasi hindi naabot ng pipet. And I tried to do this din pero hirap na hirap siya. So, ayun, I just hope that when they formulate a product or a serum, abot na abot siya. Parang ito sa Cosar X, abot na abot yan hanggang sa ilalim. Like, look how little the amount of product is already in there. Ayan, look at that. Diba? Abot na abot. Sana lang they thought of that or Alam ko naman, syempre, with packaging, sometimes you just have to use what is already available in the market kasi mahirap magpa-customize ng packaging, mahal siya, and it's gonna take some time, a lot of prototyping, and all of that. I just wish that it changed lang a little bit. You know, so velvet lipsticks, this happens a lot. Like, when product leaks lang talaga, or it breaks easily, and leak yung product, and it's so messy, like, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is an example of the products that have been leaking. Uh, ito yung Colorette Cosmetics, yung velvet tints nila in birthday cake. I used to have like three shades. Na wala ko yung isa, and yung isa nag leak and naging dry, and the consistency was so different now. And also, this one from Losera, yung velvet lip cream nila. I'm not really sure if this is available anymore, but usually mga velvet lip creams are medyo oily, ganun. Nag leak yung mga products na yun kasi nag separate yung oil with the. I don't know kung ano tawag dito, oil with the pigments. Minsan nag break lang talaga yung packaging mo, like magka crack siya here around where the screw is. I don't know if it's because of the formula or the packaging, but it's siya sa mga pet peeves ko kasi it kalat talaga eh. Anyway, next. Colorette na naman, guys. Promise wala akong grudge sa Colorette. This is the Colorette Shimmer Tint. This is the newest version. The packaging here is super duper thin. So how would you know if the project if the product was super thin? You would see it dun sa usually sa baba, sa bottom, do mo makikita. Can you see the glass part nung sa Colorette? It's super nipis compared to this one from Hello Bloom Beauty. Tignan mo yung base niya. Look how thin that is. So I hope that they change the packaging. Perfect na sana siya kung yung packaging lang talaga kasi I don't like to travel with this product. I don't want to risk this breaking while nasa labas ako, like wala ako sa bahay, hindi ko malilinisan na God, it's gonna make a lot of mess, tapos may glass shards pa. Alam mo yung parang may hazard daw siya. Seriously ha, like natatakot talaga ako dun sa product na yan. Okay, next ito. Ang dami ko ng products kasi na na-encounter that are super duper pigmented, but the packaging 
failed the product. So, si Scout Beauty, itong blush bomb nila, whatever. Basta yan, yung parang glossy na packaging. It was just super duper pigmented and it doesn't have a nozzle. If your product is pigmented kasi, you need to be able to control the product na lumalabas na madidispense mo so that you don't get too much. Some people like me, for example, want to build the product up, sheer it out, alam mo yun. Itong si Hello Bloom Beauty, uh, matte lip paint. They changed the packaging already. But the reason why I don't like this, you see how the product is all over the doe foot of this product. Hindi lang siya sa doe foot, no? Nandito siya sa rim, nandito siya sa may bandang screw type ng bottle. So, it just creates a lot of mess. And, ang hirap rin niya gamitin kasi kailangan pa i-scrape, i-scrape ng i-scrape itong product na to. Kasi, pag masyadong nadamihan, mapupunta yung product nun sa ngipin mo. Alam mo yan, ganda-ganda ng labi mo, tapos pagka-smile mo, parang <laughs> andun na pala siya sa ngipin mo, right? I am glad that they changed the packaging kasi it's, I think it's just easier to use that way and mas makakontrol mo yung amount of product na lumalabas. Okay, this one I don't like the packaging as well. Ito si Haley Beauty. This is their Make Me Blush na clay blush. So, ganda yung packaging niya, right? I don't like the packaging because yung mga brushes na gusto kong gamitin with this one, yung mga angled fluffy brushes. Uh, hindi siya fit here. Parang may harang pa siya here and then yung product. And since hindi siya nag-fit siya entirely there, hindi ganun ka-even yung pick-up ng product dun sa brush. So, kailangan ko pa siyang ilagay sa hand. Parang extra steps man lang. I have two other example of products na I think have better of packaging and this is this one. Ito yung sa Audrey Clay Blush. When you open this product, it lies flat. Hindi siya deep in the pan. Perfect lang talaga siya when you put my angled brush there. Kahit hindi lahat swak dun sa actual square na yun. At least, mas even yung amount of product na nalalagay ko. This is another example. Itong kay Essie and Co. Ayan, it's more flat. Wala siya nyo na guys, but I just noticed these things and I wanna and I wanna rant a little bit. Next is something that really bothers me, especially when traveling. I don't like bulky packaging na products. Like, tignan mo naman tong eyeshadow palette. Like, anything bulky. So, this one is from Kaleidos Cosmetics. And look at this palette. Ang laki niya lang talaga. Ang bigat niya. Maganda yung packaging niya. Pero yung thickness niya lang, it's just so bulky. Nagawa na lang ay siya ng palette na yan. I don't know what's the point. Bakit nila ginawang ganito yung packaging? Hindi ko alam kung, hindi ko ma-figure out kung ano yung functionality ng packaging. Bakit siya ganito kakapal? Sayang lang kasi sa space. I don't have a lot of space in my cabinet. And I really value yung base ko. Ayoko masyado nagsisiksikan yung products ko. It's an example of something that's compact. Something that I really like yung packaging. Para siya yung KVD Beauty na layout before. Yung iba pa yung pangalan ng brand na yun. Sleek, it's compact, it's travel friendly. Meron pa rin siyang mirror. Wala nga siya ng spaces na nasayang. 12 shades pa naman to. And that one is 15. Pero syempre iba yung amount of product per pan. Hindi na hadong concern na sa akin. Pero if they could find a way to make it more sleek, then it would be better for me at least. So yeah, guys, that is me being petty for 20 minutes. <laughs> and I don't know if it's 20 minutes, but right now it's 20 minutes na. And I hope that this video is very entertaining for you guys. Let me know kung mga pet peeves niyo sa makeup. It may be the packaging, it may be something else, shade range, shade selection. Uh, labeling, I don't know. Kung ano pa. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope to see you in the next video. Much love. Bye-bye.